Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today we're looking at the Canon 60D alongside with the diesel zoom, film zoom, uh, how it fares out, you know, and probably some lessons to learn, workflow, tips, tricks, and then we'll be out of here. <laughs> All that and more coming up. Yeah, here we do music, movies, short films, tech reviews. Uh, pretty, pretty much uh, motivation for the journey. You know, the filmmaker journey is is one challenge that we all know um, is there. And um, yeah, we talk about how to how to cope, how to fare, how to excel in these uh, trying times. Okay, so. If it's something that you think you like, you probably want to subscribe to the channel. So who thinks about putting a 2000 plus lens on a 60D on a, I don't even know how much is it now, probably 300? Those of you who follow my channel, you know that I bought the black, I upgraded from the Blackmagic Pocket 4K to the 6K not long ago. And I think I made only one video and somewhere along the line, the HDMI port got burnt on me. Now the cables I've been using, the charging ports and everything I've been using had been what I've been using on the Pocket 4K for over a year and I had no problems. I put it on the six, 6K version and you know, so the line got blown, even the cable got blown. The HDMI cable that I've been using all these years, I think it was from Alvin or so. It was one of those that I, I could say, yeah, it's a good one. I was so sad and depressed, you know, I had to send it back. After a period of about, it was probably like 14 days. It was so long for it to even arrive at the destination, you know? And three business days later, I got my refund. And, uh, but the period, probably about 14 days, yeah, you know, felt like the worst period of my life because here, I'm, here I was with a, with a for you know 2003 plus <laughs> lens and it was lying around that was not funny i wanted to make reviews i wanted to get it going get it popping and you know test drive my lens and you know start shooting project i even had to postpone a shoot that i already had you know because what am i going to shoot with 
although I know I have this um, Sony FS5 Mark II, but I, uh, that's not what I wanted for the project. It was depressing. Trust me, it was more depressing than the pandemic. Than you know, the first three months, four months in the pandemic, you know how that, how, how bad that was, right? When we were in the pandemic, it was all fresh, new, and you know how scary it was, like maybe this is the end of the world. Yeah, it was that bad. What do I have? What can I do? So I remembered my Canon 60D that has been lying in the dust, well, in the bag. It was my first DSLR. So one of the lessons learned from this is the Canon 60D is still a viable camera in 2021. If that's your budget, go with it. You can't go wrong. You can make a living with it. You can start projects with it. You can deliver with it. And you know, all you have to do is invest in yourself to know how to light and um, yeah, you get good results. I took the camera on the spin with this lens and nothing special. I didn't, I mean, I'm stuck at home with my kids, so I couldn't move around. You can see that, you know, the picture was very impressive, you know? Lens, your lens matters. Trust me. There's a clear difference between results that I had back in the days and and right now with this one. You know, of course, I won't say if you have a 60D, go get a lens like this, no. Sometimes some things are justified. You know, I won't say get a lens like this first and then the first camera you buy for it is the 60D. You will not be doing justice to your lens. You need a good camera, at least a decent camera, something more recent probably like a 4k camera mounting on this yes this is a very very um you know powerful lens i i, I just love the image from the lens and uh, i can't wait to do the actual review with my black magic uh, pocket yes i forgot to mention now the canon 60d is so old that i wouldn't even want to show it on the screen terrible it looks how old it is but the sound, the audio was still good. In fact, that camera is still good for production because it has internal audio that is better than the audio you can get from the Canon M50, probably even better than the audio I can get from the Blackmagic camera, you know, Pocket 4K, you know, at least 4K and 6K, you know? It was decent and you got monitoring headphone jack. You can monitor the sounds. That is, that is awesome. So no excuses for the price of the camera, for the, you know, the camera is quite okay. Not to this standard, but you can, you can make, you could get by. Definitely you could get by with it. Next uh, tip will be your lighting can save the day. You know, I'm, I mean, the quality of your light can save the day. We have it on the softbox. Yep you'll be fine you know so um what i used here for that shot was um godox 60d um if you got good light your camera would do better i see this camera still being used the canon 60d has still been used for weddings and all that with a good lens something like well you don't have to have this lens but the sigma 18 to 35 on that lens is the perfect match anything below that you know it's okay, there are still good lenses there, but you can get definitely get a good result. Now, so a tip for my workflow. Uh, my workflow for getting this result, I could not get into the settings well, physical settings on the body. So take that into consideration too. They are all wiped, you know. Um, the knobs are no longer labeled, you know, I was just, assuming and setting things on the fly without even knowing because i've forgotten it's been so long it probably like i got that camera probably like 15 years ago because it was like i was blind while using the camera but the screen was there that's fantastic and i managed to get my way through i rigged it up a bit i put the camera because there was no way to mount it i needed to have a a grip um lens holder for the mount. 
But however, that mount held better than the um, Pocket 6K. When I did this on it, I need I, I needed uh, the lens mount more on that Pocket 6K because it's plastic, really. Now, uh, to get the best quality, or for me, what I do is get the camera on um, the uh, Faithful. It's a picture profile where you have your standard, your um, neutral and all that. Neutral is another option. You know, you naturally want to think of tilt towards that one, but I've come to realize that Faithful is the better option. You know, you can find out if you have a camera like the 60D, you can find out if you could still, uh, for 20 bucks, I think, I bought the EOS HD, that's a better profile. But for this uh, particular shot that, you know, that you watched, I use the um, Faithful picture profile on the camera itself. It was able to get me some some flat picture profile to work with and that's what i did with this stuff and i think it looked decent enough okay so the next stage was that i took i did not export um the the, the rushes to directly to my computer now there's a plugin called mpeg stream clip mpeg stream clip it is free it is online check it out download for windows or for mac um, it may work on only older computers. I have an old computer 2012, I think, in the house for which it works alone. And that's why I keep the computer around my old Mac just because of that plugin. Now, what you could do with the plugin, it can convert from any format to any form, or well, not or any, I, at least as high as ProRes RAW. No, as high as ProRes HQ, not RAW. Not RAW. If you, inst if you added, um, your footage to to it, you just drag and drop to the screen. I think I have a recording of it, and you could you could export. You could actually edit in terms of okay. I don't want this clip. I want I want to start from here and output in and out points. Yeah, so you could do all that and get your specific clips exported um, in ProRes. And that's the file I edited with. So that was my workflow from way back, <laughs> many years ago, you know? And that's how I got the best result from that camera. Now, I have two files from two cameras. One is in that format and the other is here, like the behind the scenes and I need the clip. I'll convert it over there while I'm already starting editing over here. And then I'll transfer the external hard disk and job goes on. I guess that's all before I go. Um, while I'm waiting for my Blackmagic 6K to come and do some more in depth, that's where I'm really gonna go out and shoot something, you know. But in the frustrated process, I did look out and research, and and I got myself uh, this. This is the PL mount for Sony for Sony E-mount. So, next I'll be testing. I think I'll go out today, later today. I'm gonna get this guy on the Sony FS5 Mark II and I'm gonna do the test next before and when the Blackmagic 6K comes, we're gonna jump into that as well. So, watch out for the videos and that be all for today. Let me know in the comments what you thought um, did it make any difference? Did you notice any picture quality? You know, um, I know we didn't move out much. It's just uh, right here. Um, but did you did you get something? You know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.